have no makeup on. This shirt's hilarious. Two years in, and I haven't killed him yet. Chris got me this shirt. <laughs> He's silly. Okay, anyways. I already started my ribbon. I'm going to be doing two different types of ribbon. This ribbon that I already have on the tree, which I'm already going to have to readjust right here. I don't like that. Um, but I'm also using this Nutcracker ribbon this year that I got from Michaels. Both of these ribbons are from Michaels. This one has the coil, like the wiring, excuse me, in it. So it's easy to bend. That's the kind of ribbon you want. Or there's this kind of ribbon that kind of twirls. I'm going to drop it and like let it unravel because that's how I do. But see how it kind of has like a little bit of a swivel effect. So it gives you those curls easily to tuck in. So actually I'm just going to show you how I would readjust over here because I don't like how that's looking. It actually helps that it's on camera because I can see here. Let me try to adjust. Now, does it need to be perfect? No. Will I try to make it perfect? Yes, because I'm Monica from Friends. <laughs> All right, I'll play with, I'll keep playing with that because I still don't love this girl here. But I'll take forever. So, how I start, take the end. Usually it has like a little crinkle. So that's what I tuck. Let me see if you're going to be able to see. I have gated all the Christmas stuff off over there so Holly can't get to it. All right. So I'm going to stick it in at the top. And then I twirl and stick again. And kind of like stuff it in the tree. Twirl. And I want to give a little room here because I'm going to be doing that other ribbon down there. So I'm going to be working my way this way. Oh yeah? Are you done with mommy doing decorating? Are you trying to be an ornament? Okay. You need to behave. All right, making some progress. Got this tree skirt down. Ribbon is pretty much done all the way around. And I just started putting some of the um, bigger ornaments on. <laughs> Holly is of course next to me. Got it itches baby. I love this nutcracker ribbon. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm doing a nutcracker theme this time around. Really? Well, my baby. You just want love from mama all the time, yeah. I'm about to put some of my nutcracker ornaments on. I found these at Walmart. But I have a ton from past years, too, that I'm gonna put on. I'm <laughs> watching the Santa Claus. Put the one tree down, you guys. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. This is the Nutcracker tree. So I have all Nutcracker theme ornaments on here and I didn't really have to buy any because I love the Nutcracker ballet. So I've gotten ornaments over the years. The only new ones that I purchased were these little bulbs here. I have four of those. These are from the Lennox collection from Tika, Tully Tika. I have a couple of those. I just love the ribbon though. The ribbon totally inspired me to do this. And then I have tons of different nutcrackers on the tree and ballerinas and such. And a couple bulbs and some snowflakes too. But you get the idea. I'll showcase it even more when we do the Christmas home tour. And I've got these wreaths hung over here. This movie is so cute. Um, I'm going to end up putting two wreaths out on these as well. I just need to find them. I knew I should have got more. 
doing laundry, but I also put up Santa's laundry <laughs> in our laundry room. I'm really excited to bring this beautiful new makeup brand to me, um, to you guys today. The brand is called Wa Sheezy, and it actually means makeup of flowers, the translation, which is appropriate because there is actually infused flower, like flower petals or flower essence in their makeup, which is very unique and cool. And they are based out of China, but they are a luxury brand that is very popular there. Um, and Wayne Goss has spoken about it on his channel, which if he thinks it's good, it's got to be because that man has tried every makeup I'm sure known to man. So what definitely drew me in, I'm not going to lie, is the beautiful packaging. And I just was curious to try it out since I've never tried them. So I know that this powder is one of their most popular products and it is called the let me see if I can read this. It's called the Peach Blossom Powder, and it's a beautiful translucent powder. I'll be trying this out this week to tell you guys what I think, but I've heard and seen great reviews on it. Beautiful rose gold packaging, and even the boxes that they come in are pieces of art. They're just so beautiful. I'm gonna save this one for last because that is the most amazing and exquisite in my opinion. And then we also have this beautiful highlighter. Um, this does remind me a bit of the, there were limited edition, I believe it was either Laura Mercier or Smashbox, or maybe both, had some kind of um, impression like this too in a highlight, but this looks even more iridescent than previous ones I've seen. So I cannot wait to share that with you once I try it on the skin. I'm not gonna swatch them quite yet just because I am gonna, I wanna sanitize my hands and all that good stuff before doing so, but I will show you that this week. Then look at this beautiful palette, oh my goodness. So first of all, the outside packaging, so beautiful. Has a nice weight to it as well, but look at that. Are you kidding? Piece of art, so absolutely stunning. So this is an eyeshadow palette with a lot of beautiful different shade types. We have some mattes and shimmers and sheens. I almost don't want to touch that, but here is the name. Peony Exquisitely Carved Flower Pattern Eyeshadow, number, shade number one. And then I have two lipsticks from them. Now they're very, very fragile because it was so hot out here in Arizona, but here are the bullets. They have a nice weight to them. They have a magnetic closure, it seems. And here is the beautiful packaging on the box as well, but the lipstick itself has a pattern to it. And I hope that the camera is going to pick it up. Look at that. It's like a lace work pattern. Absolutely stunning. So this is like that true red color. And it's M115. And they did also send me a darker shade as well. And here is the other shade I have. And this one is an M16. Here are swatches of the highlight. Oh, that is sparkly and beautiful. And then the two lipsticks. I'm getting ready for work right now and I wanted to show you how these apply so beautifully, like luxury. Seriously, I'm in love with this powder. Again, this is called the Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. It mattifies, sets your makeup all day. It doesn't give a super white cast. Um, so I really have been loving this. It's very finely milled. So it has like a little catch tray here so you don't have to worry about it falling everywhere if you travel with it. And it did come with a little puff as well. I don't really use this though. I use a brush instead. So I'm gonna use this like smaller brush and this is from a different Luxie, I guess. I got it in like a boxy charm. So I really love that it also has that little piece right here. It's like a little film that helps um, you get the perfect amount when you tap your brush into it. So I'm gonna do that and still tap it off and you're gonna see, see how I have so much shine right here and here. Watch when I apply this to it. Instantly disappears, it's so nice. of my face makeup on now. I'm going to be using this gorgeous highlight. It is called the Flower Pattern Highlight Peach Blossom. Um, so there's the beautiful pattern. And this does have pearl, apricot, and peach blossom ingredients. It's very smoothing. 
going to just apply it right here. Wow, look at that. You see that glow? I'll do a flat like the flash um, on my camera too so you can really see it, but wow, it's just really pretty. I've been wearing this all week. Also, just tapping the lipstick. It's super pigmented, but since I'm going to work today, I don't want something too strong. So I'm just giving my lips a little bit of flush. And this color is 116, M116. It has that beautiful carved out pattern like I showed you guys, like lace almost. And it is very pigmented, like one swipe. It has like a glossiness to it, but not too much. And I'll show you the completed look, but that is the color of the lipstick. And this is when you swipe it on stronger. I just did a little bit of a stain on my lips. All right, I really need to do my brows and eyes, and then I'll show you the completed look. Hey guys, I just got home from work and you guessed it. I'm right back into decorating for Christmas. A lot of you ask me, like, when do you have time to do this? I don't. <laughs> I literally don't. I spend like almost every weekend in November getting ready for Christmas, like decorating for Christmas. And I try to do like little bits here and there during the week if I can. And it just happens that I have like about an hour right now to do some stuff. So I'm working on my mug tree. If you haven't seen my mug tree from years past, I'll insert the 2019s and 2020s because they're different. I'm going to definitely do closer look um, as to last year because I really like how it turned out. Um, but I thought I would also mention these pants one more time. I'm going to show you guys one. They're so comfortable. I've been wearing them ever since I got, well, not, obviously I washed them, but I've been wearing them ever since I got them, especially when I'm doing stuff around the house because they're so comfy and they're just so soft too. Like the fabric is like a spandex, but it has, so it got, has a lot of give, but then it's really soft. Not to like pet my leg, but you get it. And looks pretty good on the booty too. I like them. All right, guys, today is the day. Tonight is the night. Woo! <laughs> we're going to see Enrique Iglesias and Ricky Martin. Front row, baby. I cannot wait. We're both so excited. We already, we're actually pulling up to the arena area. Cardinal Stadium's right behind us. But we're gonna go to dinner beforehand. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but. So you got some shrimp tacos, we're at Salt. Got a mango margarita too, Mama Bee's here. It's a really cute environment too. We're right across from the venue. Getting our grub on before we I got a white claw. Mama Bee's got Diet Coke because she's still driving. Hi. Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi. She's already lit and happy. Stop you addiction for every day and night. She made me take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. It's a little hero. Vamos a bailar toda la noche. We're going to have a great time tonight. my soul on stage tonight and I hope you enjoy it as much as I know that I will. This next song is very important for me. If you know it, I would love for you to sing it with me.
adelante María Un dos, tres Un pasito más atrás A mí no me importa Tú dices tú me Porque sé que mueres Con poderme haber Happy Friday. It's the day after the concert and I am seriously on a mega concert high all day today. I can't stop looking at the pictures and the videos I took and I really didn't actually take that many videos of Enrique, which I can't believe, but I took a lot of Ricky Martin and I was dancing. Me and my mom were like dancing and having so much fun um, at the Ricky Martin part. He opened the concert and he was amazing and Enrique, when Enrique came out, it's like the world stops for me. <laughs> so stupid, I know. I don't think a lot of people have that for like a, like a singer or a celebrity or whatever, but Enrique, like I'll always be known as an Enrique Iglesias fan because since like 98, I think was when I first started loving him. Yes, Primo. So I'm pretty sure this was the seventh time I've seen Enrique in concert now. Mind you, again, I've been a fan since 98, so that's quite a long time. Um, but I think I've been on every tour that he has been on since, like, early 2000s, like maybe 2005. Because I didn't get to go when I was in high school to see him. But the reason I mentioned that it's interesting that it was concert number seven is because I felt like it was the best um, experience that I've had at one of his concerts. Number one, we were a front row. Um, number two is with my mom who also like loves Ricky Martin and him so much that not probably not the same level as me but you know she still had so much enjoyment out of it and like joy out of it too so that was so fun to experience with her and you guys I'm like trying not to, you can probably tell just from my breathing that I'm just like excited even talking about it Enrique jumped down again but this time if you were if you've been following me for a while a couple of years ago, I got to I got to be front row at Enrique as well. It was in the Enrique and Pitbull concert, but I went by myself because it was like last minute, the hour before. I grabbed a ticket and I got to go there um, to see him. But I was by myself, and when he jumped down, because I was like going crazy, he jumped down right in front of me, and I got to like touch on his abs, and like he was in front of me for literally probably thirty seconds or less. It was very quick, maybe ten seconds, honestly. Um, and I have like a video clip of that, which I showed you guys. Um, I think I put it on my Instagram too yesterday before the concert because someone else behind me had filmed it and sent it to me. So similar occurrence happened. Enrique jumped down. And so he did come down and jumped up on like this box that was right there in the front. And so I was able to like touch on him. He was laughing and like having fun with us in the front. Like he was singing and felt like he was serenading me. It was so awesome. Now, I wish I could show you clips from that. I only have this still shot from someone else who took it because Mama B thought she was filming it or like maybe just was caught up in the moment and just didn't think to film it, but she didn't film it or take pictures. And I gave, I gave her such a hard time over. I'm like, Mom, why didn't you film it? because it was like such a good moment but I'll have it in my heart forever it was so awesome and then there were two other occurrences during the concert where like he came and sang like right in front of me and totally made eye contact with me multiple times and we like was smiling and like laughing like pointing and stuff like that it was just so fun I got to interact with him it's the coolest thing ever um so yeah, I clearly had a really good time. Most of you are probably like, I could give two craps about Enrique and I love you for still watching this vlog and caring about my excitement and love for him. 
And now I've got to get home and start or continue, I should say, working on all the Christmas decor. And I say it kind of exasperated, but like I love doing it. It's just really time consuming and I wish I had more time to execute everything, you know? So that's why I get like, I think overwhelmed or like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this done. Cause I wanna be able to post it all for you guys in time for you to do your decorations. So let's get going home. How adorable are these cake pops? <laughs> Little pumpkin pie slices. Now they're actually vanilla cake pop inside, but these are from Mary Poppins. Uh, my good friend Aubrey talked about them and I decided to try them out for ourselves because we're gonna pick some up for Aubrey's um, bridal shower in February. And she is doing these really adorable ones at the Phoenix um, Farmer's Market right now as well here in Arizona. So I'll leave all her in information down below and I've heard they're delicious. I have not tried them out myself, so I'm gonna try one right now with you guys. She gave me some that look like pumpkin pie slices and some that look like these cute little pumpkins, white pumpkins. So let's try one out. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> so good. So excited and I also feel really bad because I'm taking over Chris's den a little bit. We thought about making the den into a music room later, but we're not sure. I might end up just selling my cabinet, if you can believe it, that I just got um, so that we can put the piano in the great room, like the living room. But this is a piano from 1915. It even has like the metal plates and everything um, that I guess, I don't know what it established it as, like a, a antique piece which is so cool. And we got this for free from an amazing person in my life that I work with, um, Tammy. And her dad actually had this piece in his garage and he's fallen ill and they didn't have anywhere to put it. And she thought of me since I have played piano for years. I haven't gotten to play for a very long time though because I didn't have a piano of my own for a very long time. But I am so excited to get this piano tuned and start playing again. We're obviously gonna have to get it refurbished because, or or try to do it ourselves and sand it and try to paint it um, because it you know, has some nicks and things that need to be fixed, but it's such a cool piece. I'm really, really excited.